This is fantastic. This is pretty much the step right before AI. you guys and welcome to the life in germany channel my name is jenna i'm a canadian i've been living here in germany for nine years and i've had my fair share of learning the german language i have actually trialed and tested multiple different German language platforms. And I thought I'd tried it all, you guys, until Rocket Languages reached out to me and asked me if I would do a review on their product for you guys, go through their platform, give you a little bit more information about it so that you can see if it's the right program for you. They've come up with something really, really interesting. So let's go through the platform and you can actually see what exactly it is that they do different. I'm also gonna keep an open mind. This is a sponsored video, but they have asked me for my open and honest opinion on the platform. So I will be very honest with you guys. I am taking a seven day challenge, learning the German language over here on Rocket Languages. So the way I'm gonna be able to practice myself, but also show you how to work the platform, they actually have different sections in their dashboard. You can see here, they have play it, hear it, say it, write it, know it, quiz and flashcards. So each and every day, I'm going to do all of those, but I'm only going to show you a section of each as we go along. All right, so let's head in and log in. You can see I am currently learning the German language. You can add another course. I think it's also worth mentioning that they have levels one, two, and three instead of A, B, and C. You can find it on their frequently asked questions page. And they mentioned level one is A1 to A2, level two is A2 to B1, and level three is B1 to B2. And it was time to start the seven day challenge. So on day one, it was actually quite late, about 10 p.m. after I had put the kids to bed and I wanted to see just how easy it really was to kind of just take an hour out of your day and get some good practice in. It wasn't until day two when I decided I was ready to start sharing the platform with you guys and give you a little bit more of an insider peek. Good morning guys and welcome to day two. I am on the second lesson of the third level right now and I'm right at the beginning so you guys can watch this happen. If this looks too complex for you, don't worry. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show you level one too. So this lesson is all about German punctuality. Each lesson has a different focus. This one is about being on time and Matthias and Sabina are the characters essentially for this entire course. So first here, you can listen to this 26 minute podcast style audio where they actually give a detailed breakdown of the lesson's conversation. You don't have to fast forward like you typically would on a YouTube video, for oh, example. Sure. You can pause and then you can actually go down and say, okay, I want to start at minute 9.45. Beginning. To start. You're learning German through this introductory podcast, which is really cool. But then you've also got the host who switches back into English and kind of explains it better in a really natural way. All right, now we're at the play it section. I actually really, really like this section. And this is the section that is helping me at the moment really get more fluent. Speaking in a language course is not a new concept. However, there's something really interesting about this and I wanna mention it in a second. But let me show you a few sections so you understand the concept of how play it actually works. So I'm gonna to choose to play as Matthias. Hmm, schon halb sieben und Alex ist noch immer nicht hier. Er nutzt das akademische Viertel voll aus. Das akademische Viertel? Was ist das? Okay, I'm just gonna stop it here. What I really appreciate is the English underneath. So even those of you who don't understand German quite yet can see what they're actually talking about and you can somehow associate it. And one other thing about the play it section that I actually had no idea about, the Rocket German team actually ended up showing me this. You can actually go into the settings here and adjust the difficulty of the play it section by saying, oh, I want you know the German to appear or I want only every second word of the character to appear or English you know and if you take that away look how, how much harder it is and then you can press play mm. and you can listen to it but you can't actually see any of the hints so if it's too easy for you you've also got the ability to make it more difficult which I find really interesting 
the progress that you're making in this game, it's continuous. I just stopped the game, but otherwise it would keep going and you would be having a full conversation with someone. My immediate thought when I'm playing this game is, oh my God, this is something for my mom. I actually put her in front of a class. I surprised her one day because I wanted her to learn a German language and I had booked a class on video chat. She was like, beat red the whole time. She was so worried. She hated the feeling of being so embarrassed. So I actually really like this method where you're speaking to the computer, but constantly. Doing this has made me realize that there is actually so much more room for artificial intelligence language learning. This conversation that I'm having with the computer right now makes me feel like I'm talking to an AI robot. And that is something that we could really, really see as a huge advancement, changing the entire game of how we learn the language. This is fantastic. It focuses on grammar. It focuses on speaking, listening, writing, and interactively, it's actually a lot of fun on this platform and really easy to understand. If we could make this into something that's also partnered with artificial intelligence, then you're having a real conversation with a real robot. They could also pause and have a full on conversation with you and be like, okay, stop. That's the kind of stuff that could happen with AI. And I think that this is pretty much the step right before AI. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's something that they are able to launch in the future. That would be really, really cool. Good morning, everyone. We are on day three. And today we are going to go through some of the grammar lessons. On day one and day two, I actually did the audio lessons. But if you scroll down, we have these language and culture lessons, and those are also associated to the grammars. They don't have a play it section. They have an explanation of the grammar and they go through all of the examples down below where you can practice the spielten if you're saying it correctly anyway if you scroll down and you go through all of the grammar information there's a little bit of a fun section called culture lesson and here we're talking about German country sayings and they kind of give you a little bit of a better understanding of what it's like in Germany what's normal what you can expect I'm actually going to go back to the dashboard because I did promise you that I was not going to constantly take you through level three. And we will scroll down to the culture lesson. This is where you're going to learn about a couple famous Germans. Albert Einstein, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, and of course Heidi Klum and Claudia Schiffer. So today was a tough day for me because I was in the grammar sections here, but I'm going to go back to my module so that I can show you the hear it, say it section. Sie sind. Sie sind. You get it. You hear it, you say it. Day number four, I'm gonna check it out on my phone so that you guys can see how it works in the app here. We are gonna go start with write it. You listen to the text, you don't actually see the text, and then you have to write it. This is one of the hardest things for me because I actually can't write that well in German. So this is where I have to do that practice. Der Bäcker. Der. Bäcker. Der Bäcker. Easy. Die Kundschaft. Die Kunstschaft. Die Kundschaft. <sighs> Bitte schön. I know this one. Bitte schön. I didn't even do like the capital letters. This is why I'm terrible at writing, but it's good because you can also mark it hard. And then if you don't know what it is, then you can just hit reveal. No problem. Anyway, I really, really like how simple the platform is even on the app. I did notice something else that I wanted to show you guys. At the end of every level, there's actually a survival kit. And if you open up that survival kit, it gives you different topics where they share more vocab with you. So I just went into hobbies and activities. You've got this huge list of vocab. Vocabulary. You can listen to it. Einen Reifen wechseln. Einen Reifen wechseln. Level two was my favorite. Yeah, this one. They have medical German, which I found really important. A love and romance, survival phrases, expressing your feelings. I like it. It's good. I'm trying to think of critique to share with Rocket Languages here. And honestly, sincerely, I think I'm in love with your course. This might be one of my new favorites. I think I'm gonna have to add it to my downloadable checklist for you guys as one of the top resources to work with. Day five. Let's get started on the know it section. It might be a bit noisy today. It's Saturday, so my son is home. Willkommen an Bord. Projekt Management. Sabine Haupt. Sehr angenehm. Ich habe etwas Lauten gehört. Ich habe etwas Läuten gehört. 
This section catches you off guard a little bit, but I actually kind of like that they catch you off guard in this way because sometimes I think, ah, you know, it's just an online program. Nobody's going to like catch me and, and push me to do my best. But in this regard, they're like, okay, we're not showing you anything. Like you just have to read it in English and translate it yourself verbally and see if you get it right. Granted, we did just have a ton of practice in the play it and hear it say it section. So we should be quite prepared for this section. It just gets you a little bit nervous and then you're like, oh, I don't have to worry. I'm not doing it in front of anybody. It is day six. I'm not sure why here on the top it says that it's still on five days. It is day six. I am on a roll and I am very proud of myself. So we'll see. It will probably update itself as we go on. We're in the quiz section right now. So after you go through your play it, your lesson vocabulary, hear it, say it, write it, and know it, they quiz you to see if you've actually been listening. Matthias is looking for the printer. Sabina has been working in the company for two years. They will know about the budgets after the next meeting after the next manager meeting which department does sabina work in the legal department sabina thinks that the atmosphere is very good four to five i'm now 404th on the rocket languages leaderboard okay so i started working and now you can see up here that it does say six days super quick quiz it's in english i would say this is not so much of a quiz to test your knowledge but just to make sure that you're actually paying attention so maybe it's kind of like a hello you can't cheat your way through this system it's day seven and we are on the flashcards now i'm back in level one so you can see the words of the flashcards when you might just be getting started flashcards if you guys remember them just like you probably did in high school or university when you were studying for a test you had these cards that you would flip over and then you'd put them in piles easy medium hard throw out the easy ones you'd go back to the medium ones and you'd study your off on the hard flashcards. This is the same concept. Many language learning platforms actually offer this. I really love when a course does offer flashcards because this is one of the ways that I learned best in university. So you kind of control this on your own. You look at the word and you think, okay, you, dish. I haven't done this level, so I'm hoping that I'm right. Z. Ah, okay, here you see, do is the singular informal form. You can use it when talking to individuals you know well. So there you go. So Z or do good, gut. Ja, danke schön. Ja, danke. Hello together. Hallo zusammen. That one helped me, that little hint. I like those little hints there. Mein Deutsch ist sehr gut. Yes, naturally. Ah, ja, natürlich. Ist das besser? Können Sie langsamer sprechen? Ba -ba. That's it, guys. I'm going to keep going on my level, but let's wrap this up. So we've reached the end. And what did I think about it? With an open mind, although their language and culture lessons are very unique, and Rocket Languages definitely deserves a huge praise for being able to incorporate these real life situations in their language learning, because it's not just about learning the language, it's about understanding the culture and being able to communicate like a local using popular conversational topics here in Germany. Very impressed, yes, but I have to say it was really the play section that absolutely wowed me and I think you guys know that I felt like this is almost AI being able to have this fluent conversation with a computer now that's pretty cool I haven't found another platform yet that has this really interactive way of communicating with a computer initially I thought I was gonna have a lot more to critique it's hard to make a language learning platform nowadays original because there's so many out there that you can pick from and it's really hard to pick which one works best for you because there are so many I think it's also unfair that there's other businesses out there that put a lot more into their marketing budget so you recognize the name easily i have to admit i had never heard of rocket languages and i think that's really a shame but when you're a smaller business and your primary goal is not about generating a profit but reaching out to a market of people who just love learning who have a passion for learning and want to really learn a language in order to connect with the locals better unfortunately you might not always recognize their name off the bat so i'm actually really happy that i'm able to share this review video with you guys so that you can learn more about this language learning platform
The only weakness I did find in their platform was their benchmark test could be a little bit easier to navigate, though they did mention that they're working on improving this. And it might make sense to avoid confusion to scrap the levels one, two, and three and associate them with the A to B or A to C lesson in the CEFR model so that people don't have to go back and think, okay, well, what is what? Though I'm not even sure if that's entirely legal. I have to look into that. Well, I continue using the program. Yes, I'm actually gonna go back to level one and I'm gonna go through every grammar section and just skip everything else because I'm still struggling on grammar even almost 10 years living in Germany. But I also wanted to end this video with a huge BAM note. Let's talk price. I don't think that Rocket Languages is gonna want me to end the video on this note. For what Rocket Languages has, the price of their courses is way too cheap. Let me just take you back to the homepage here for a second so that you can check this out. If they have a sale, it's gonna pop up here. They have a one-time payment plan or a six-month plan. But check out here. If you catch them on a sale, you can get level one, two, and three right now, for example, for $179.94. Even for $449, it's so cheap in comparison to some of the courses that are being sold online today. You've got 389 hours of lessons, all of that survival kit stuff, all of those extra culture lessons and language lessons and flashcards and everything, it's all included. So you look at those prices, plus they have lifetime access, a 60 day refund policy, free trial lessons, so you can actually test out 10 of the lessons and they even offer gift vouchers. I'm not gonna say too much, but I feel like I'm like, 85% of the way there of convincing my mom to move to Germany. And if that's the case, I am totally celebrating by getting her one of these vouchers to learn on this platform because this is totally up her alley as well. If you are interested in checking out any of the other 14 language courses that they offer, I can't say too much because they're actually very different. They don't follow this like cookie cutter approach where every single course follows the same structure because the culture is different. The way of speaking is different in every country. Spanish and French, it's much more of a love language like in Germany. I can't even imagine going to work and talking about my love life. So in this case, learning the right way to speak here in Germany is very important. All in all, ich bin begeistert, really. I am super impressed by the way that they've built this program. Oh, I'm definitely gonna share it with you guys on the checklist. I will share it anywhere I can because this, guys, is pretty impressive. Thank you so much for watching this review video. I know I don't do them all that often, but I do have a lot of fun with them. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Und wie immer, vielen, vielen lieben Dank und bis später.